hello and welcome. I'm going to be sharing my top tips to body appreciation today. This is a follow on video from the meditation that I've shared and also some questions that I ask you to do on body appreciation as a scale. So what we're going to do this morning is we're going to look at how you can make changes in your lifestyle, in how you perceive your own body image and small things that you can put into place um, and I'm back to the, the questions and I'm going to give you a bit of, uh, information on those to help you. So the first question that I asked was I respect my body and um, so I'm going to be starting each of these questions and we're going to work with an affirmation so if you feel that you did have a low score on respecting your body because we did a scale of one to five um, through questions one to ten and if you found that I respect my body was a low score and this is an area that you need to work on this is my affirmation for you my body is my divine and sacred vessel my body is my divine and sacred vessel my body is my divine and sacred vessel so the way that I'm going to be working with this is, yes, we have this divine and sacred vessel. Think about how you give your energy, how you give and share your physical presence to other people. And this could be you respecting and putting boundaries into place. So it's not necessarily how you just see the beauty within your body, but how you are giving your time and energy to other people. Do you respect your body in that you you do something for somebody, but you're not respecting the energy and time that that takes? So it's very much about looking at your whole lifestyle and how are you reaping rewards for your own body and your physical and emotional being? Are you thinking about keeping some of that time and energy to yourself? So it's very much about how you plan your week, your day, your month and what boundaries you've got in place so that you're not exhausting your physical energy and emotional energy. This can also be boundaries about how you also um, use your own um, space, whether that is you're putting boundaries in for um, how much rest time you get, how much time you're working as well and having some balance into your life. It can also be putting boundaries in place in how you feel you want people to come into your personal space and energy space and whether they are coming close into your physical contact um, and vice versa. So really it's something for you to think about there how you can implement small little changes into your lifestyle to um, ensure that you are protecting and putting boundaries in place so that you respect your physical and emotional body on a deeper level. Okay, we're going to go on to question two. Question two was, I um, did you feel good about your body? So if this was a low scoring um, and you didn't feel good about your body, this is the affirmation that I'm going to share with you. My body and mind are connected beautifully. I feel good every day. My body and mind are connected beautifully. I feel good every day. So feeling good about your body, I think I spoke about that in the previous video, is, is um, depends where you are in your life, what you are doing, your demands, your expectations on yourself. And it's very much about the mindset, how you think about your body. And we can change that. Um, and one of the things is we have an ego. Our ego tries to protect us. Um, and one of the things that we can do is we can ask our ego to step aside, especially when you've got that few moments to yourself and you're finding that you've got a lot of negative self-talk, asking the ego to step aside. And you might want to close your eyes for that moment and just ask your ego to step aside. And I usually see my ego leaving the room. And what you can ask to come in place is to ask your higher self to just enter. And your higher self is more, um, more genuine and is more loving and will share um, information that will help you to progress beautifully in life. So that was number two. Number three was whether you felt your body had some good qualities or not. So if this was your low um, 
your low rating and you felt you didn't have any good qualities. This is my affirmation for you. I can see, I can feel, sense and see the beauty within and around me. I can feel, sense and see the beauty within me and around me. And this is what I really like, the qualities that we have. So for example, one of my good qualities that I really, really love about myself is my hair. And one of the things I really, really love to do to appreciate and love my hair so much, and this can be a different part of your body for you, is to actually touch, really touch in the body part, the hair, the features. And if it's not something, maybe it's your eyes, you might want to look into your eyes gazing in the connecting with you and your own personal being um, and just touching and this is what really just really lights me up is just touching her you might want to brush your hair if you're something like that so it's just getting in tune in touch with that body part it's something that you don't love for example maybe you don't love your feet why not do a little bit of a self massage get some cream out get familiarized with that body part and notice them unique qualities them, which we'll talk about in a little bit as well. Notice them, them parts of your body that maybe you don't look at very often because in particular the feet, we hide away quite a lot. We don't look at them, we don't acknowledge them, we neglect them as well. Okay, so we're gonna go on to number four. I take a po positive attitude towards my body. Again, this is the mindset part. So if you don't believe you've got a, um, a positive body image, this is the affirmation for you. I believe that I am worthy of feeling beautifully, beautiful in and out. So this is again similar. This is negative mind talk and not believing that you are worthy. Um, so this, what I'm suggesting for this is when you catch yourself, because you will have, you've got 80,000 thoughts a day. 80% um, of those are negative. If you can catch yourself uh, talking negative, I want you to turn it round and you're going to use the affirmation. I believe that I am um, worthy of feeling beautiful inside and out. So it's very much about listening, tuning into the body, maybe do some breath work. And that might help you to just kind of notice things throughout your day. So you might want to put some breath work in throughout the day, just so that you're slowing down your mind and your body and tuning in with what you are feeling and noticing then that negative self-talk. Okay, number five, um, whether you felt attentive to your body's needs or not, was this a low aspect? So this is very much a self-care aspect. Do you give that attention to your body and your body's needs? So your affirmation is, my body tells me what it needs and I listen and respond with love. I'm just adding love there because I didn't have that. Love, love, love. My body tells me what it needs. I listen and respond with love. My body tells me what it needs. I listen and respond with love. So if you go back to the meditation about the body appreciation, it will really help you to tune into those body parts. Um, and with that, you can notice any areas that maybe feel a little bit neglected. You might feel that you want to send some love to that area. And this could be you doing some self-care practices, maybe doing some meditation to calm that mind. Maybe it's overactive. You might want to do, again, some maybe some hand massage, massage of the whole body, just gently, even just moisturising the whole body, giving yourself some TLC and love. It could be going out in nature, absorbing that air from the trees, the natural environment, breathing it in and feeling the beauty of the cleansingness as it moves through your body. So whatever self-care you think, I want you to really tune into what your mind and your body is telling you because you are the one who knows what you need. You are the one who can figure things out. It's not for me to tell you what to do. It is very much about you understanding what is happening within your body. Now, if you've got children, this is really good for children because they um, not necessarily attuned to the signs of what their body is telling them. I will do another video about children and help them to, to become familiar, um, but for now, very much about self-care. Number six, I feel love for my body. 
Okay. So, if you don't feel love for your body on any terms at all, maybe it's a two rating or a one you picked, this is my affirmation for you. My love radiates from within. I am pure love. My love radiates from within. I am pure love. And what I want you to do here is to close your eyes and to send a heart to the body part with the affirmation. I want you to close your eyes and send a heart to that body part with that affirmation. Okay, number seven. I appreciate the different and unique characteristics of my body. So maybe you don't appreciate those characteristics. Your affirmation is, I am unique and I am me. So for this one, I want you to think about going looking in the mirror and looking at that body part, if you can see it, and to use the affirmation to really connect in through the mirror, looking at that body part. And it might take time for you to appreciate that body part because you are not um, going to naturally just love that body part. It takes that desire and that love and I want you to be looking at the body part and saying, I am unique and I am me. And to do that every day, if you can, would be amazing. Okay, number eight, my behaviour re reveals my positive attitude towards my body. So if you find that you are re thinking one thing but doing something else, you're not in sync, this is your affirmation. I am in sync with my body and mind. And what I want you to do with this is to repeat the affirmation. But also, along with this, is, is very much about journaling. I really think this is something um, that you need to do some work on, to writing down what is it that's holding you back from speaking your truth? Why are you acting differently to how you are thinking? So this is something that is going to take a little bit of practice to unravel and to tune into why you are acting differently to what you think. Is the fear the is the um, some blocks from your childhood? Is the negative thinking there? There could be a whole array of things. That is why you feel you have to pretend to be something that you're not. Okay, number nine. Uh, I am comfortable in my body. Okay, you might not be comfortable. You might have a physical ailment that's bothering you. You might be in pain. You might have allergies. You might. Um, have a physical disability, you might have a mental struggle, an emotional struggle, you may have lots of things going on. So your affirmation to help you with this is, I feel in flow with my own energy. I feel in flow with my own energy. So what I want you to really do with this, and it might involve that journaling as well, is um, what aspects can you change and it's small changes about how you um, um, about how you feel about your body, um, and it again it could be just journaling, um, and writing down those feelings for that body part, and seeing if there's a trail of where that feeling comes from, um, and what can you do to change that discomfort. So uh, have you got allergies that make you discomfortable? Have you got something that can ease those allergies? Is it something that you could close your windows um, and really just help contain? Could you get an air purifier and filter? Could you get more plants? What small thing can you do to help improve you feeling comfortable in your body? Could it be that you need a bit of a lifestyle change? Healthy eating. What small aspect can you change? Maybe eating more fruit maybe um, cutting out different types of food and things like that so it is something for you to have a little think about there and the last one um you feel that you are beautiful that you feel like you're not beautiful because you compare yourself to other people like models and people in the media your affirmation is no one is like me i live for me not for others no one is like me i live for me not for others and this is a really lovely one. Don't look at the media. Cut yourself off from that negativity. Disconnect from the people that 
that maybe you find a, a making you feel a certain way and they're not making you feel that way you are the one who's in control of your thoughts remember and what I want you to do as well is this if you have body conscious and you compare yourself to other people I want you to have a picture of yourself and I want you to choose a picture um, that maybe is something that you are happy with it depends what you want to get out of this a picture of you that maybe it's on your phone or you have it up on the wall I want you to see yourself every day now we talked about the mirror looking in the mirror this time I want you to see you maybe in in the light of how you really like yourself choosing something that reflects how you positively feel as well and you could use this for feeling comfortable in your body as well and how your behavior uh, matches your attitude so a lot of these things cross over um, and I just wanted to share a little bit on that today. Gratitude is something I improve on daily. I tend to put practice into place um, and it is about small changes and not overwhelming yourself. If you want to know more about gratitude, I hold a monthly gratitude circle. It takes place on Zoom on the first Sunday of every month and um, we have a theme each month. Um, you can come and have a look on my website which is in the comments peaceandpresence.co.uk check out the events section and have a look what's coming up for August um, and have a look at some of the other things that I do as well you might want to check out my uh, Instagram as peaceandpresence underscore healing all in the comments below and check out the other free content on my YouTube as the meditation to this is available so that you can tune in if you've appreciated, and that's the word again, appreciated content and that sharing, please drop me a donation at my Kofi account. It would really, really help me to um, bring forward um, more content to help you help yourself to find that inner calm, to find that love and expansion about yourself and the world around you. Um, and I will be showing up and I'll be doing some more uh, videos to help you with your children to tune into how they feel as well so thank you very much have a lovely day i'll see you all soon take care